do 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 It's Tammy. I just wanted to hop on and say hello and share with you that I have so many ideas, so much footage, but I haven't had the time to edit them. That's because I've been trying to write my primary essays for medical school, so I've been trying to juggle that alongside work and volunteering. But that being said, I am surprised that some of you have reached out to me because I'm grateful to answer some of your questions, such as does getting a Bachelor of Arts versus a Bachelor of Science differ in your probability of getting a job? And the answer is no. I'm a little bit biased but I personally love a liberal arts education because you're able to study outside of your discipline. Studying in fields have helped me think and restructure my thought when it comes to applying to my main discipline which is neuroscience. So something like philosophy has guided me in questioning everything that I read. Why does this experiment matter? What are the authors trying to argue? How do they substantiate their ideas in their experiment? But that being said, Many of you have been asking me, what can you do with a neuroscience degree? The short answer is a pastry ton. love studying animal behavior and neurobiology, perhaps working as a zookeeper, veterinarian, or even a college professor might hit home for you. If you're gung-ho about government policy, perhaps you wish to advise on policy for the care of people with neurodevelopmental disease, intellectual disabilities, and autism. could even become a grants administrator or a reviewer for the NSF and the NIH too. So what about health-related careers? Sure, one could become a physician, an MD, or a DO, depending on what philosophy you enjoy. But there are also options to work as a audiologist, a social worker, an MR technician, and a radiologist. What's your rating? In fact, if you want to get into business and law, you can even be a lawyer and specialize in neurodegenerative disease cases. To plants? No problem. Perhaps you wish to become a nutritionist and offer the unique perspective on how nutrients derived from the food we eat affect the nervous system. Let's say you love writing and publishing. Perhaps you can be a scientific journal editor for Cell, Nature, and Science, or even publish a book. That's all I have for today, and thanks for stopping by. Ta-ta now!